What's up everybody and welcome to another episode. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share the video. Hit the join button and become a member. Why? Well members get exclusive content. Hit the bell icon on my channel so that you receive a notification every time that I drop a video and you can go and check the video out if you have not subscribed to the channel. Please do so. Let's get into it. This story once again takes us to the Los Angeles County Jail, where, as always, it is full of misery and violence. Gang activity, gang wars are on the constant in the Los Angeles County Jail. You would think that everyone is in there fighting for their lives as it is with their court case. Haven't been convicted yet. That's why we're in the Los Angeles County Jail. We're fighting our cases. And so you would think that the focus would be on that, not fighting each other and harming one another, stabbing each other over some gang beef on the street. I mean, it's just. But this is what's been going on in the Los, in the Los Angeles County Jail for generations, for decades. They had the blood module. They had the crypt module. Back in the days, it was vicious. This is just the separation that our community is faced with. And it runs rampant there in the Los Angeles County Jail, <clears throat> excuse me, as well, since jail and prison is a microcosm of society as a whole. And there in the Los Angeles County Jail, on the 4,000th floor in the one man cells, I just got not a high power for some violence. I've, I've sort of brought you that story before, but I just sort of spoke in the third person. If you know, you know. Somebody don't like when I say that. If you know, you know. <laughs> and so, uh, there was a dude from Harlem. He was skinny. I cannot think of this dude's name, even though I tried all this morning when I was getting ready to bring this story. I couldn't think of it, but he's a skinny dude. I think he was on that Christina Aguilera. He was real small with braids, but his face was real ashy, sort of like dirty. He was brown skinned, had a couple of tattoos, and he was probably about 30 years old, but he looked like he was 50. Dude sort of rubbed me the wrong way from the beginning. I just, I couldn't really get out with his get out. Also there from Harlem was the OG homie TC from, from Harlem 30s. TC was a solid individual. You know, he had a penitentiary type presence. He was strong, solid, exercised, mind his business. And you can tell that TC was somebody, but just by the way that he carried himself. But his little homie, whatever the hell his name is, not so much. They're on the 4,000 floor in these one man cells. I was out, I was running the mouth. And one time, the younger dude from Harlem in question went in the shower. And he took some soap that was in the shower. Nobody, you know, no one had claimed the soap or someone had left the soap in the shower. When he went in the shower, he took the soap back to his cell. So someone came out looking for their soap. Said, oh man, I left my soap in the shower. Let me go get my soap. They popped his cell. He ran down to get his soap and it was gone. The last one in the shower was Harlem. So, dude, like, man, who got my soap? Uh, and then, you know, so TC, being a, the bigger homie, asked the younger dude from Harlem, man, did you take the soap because you was the last one in there? He said, yeah, I, I, I did get it. I got it. He hesitated at first, but then he, he said that he, that he took it. He said he didn't know because it was just there that, you know, he, somebody must have left it. It was almost a brand new bar. So he took it. This is the sort of scurvy stuff I'm talking about with this dude. 
why would you want to use someone else's soap? It wasn't brand new in the box. Someone had used that soap already in the shower. Washed their hairy ass with that soap. And then you want to turn around and get it and wash your face with it? What type of man? Suspect. TC told him, man, that's still stealing. Don't take nothing that don't belong to you. TC, I get the feeling. He didn't like this dude's get down either because TC, again, is one solid individual from all that I've heard and what I've seen with my own two eyes there in the Los Angeles County Jail. I, I didn't know him that, that well, didn't know him for too long. We were just right there together on the 4,000 floor for a little while. But, you know, he was a solid individual for my time there by, by all means. So he was put off by this dude taking a soap. Now, it's not necessarily stealing. He didn't go inside anyone's cell and take anything out. Someone left something. And he picked it up and took it back to his cell. And is that stealing? Could that still be considered stealing? I guess depends on who you ask. But it's not the definition, obviously, of pilfering of actually going somewhere in someone's cell or such, in their locker or such, and pilfering something. There's a difference. But still, it's just an, it just denotes his character or lack thereof. Again, why would you even want to use someone else's soap? So he said, okay, man, my bad, my bad. Now, I stopped messing with him after that. Him and I just used to talk a little bit, and he was an okay dude. But again, I thought that he wasn't all that he was cracked up to be, just by, even by his appearance. One day, we're right there on a the tier, and there's only one phone on the tier, because again, these are one-man cells. And the phone is down there right ne next to the shower. And he on the phone, and I'm up there by the gate. As I said, I can come in and out of the gate and go to the other side of the module, this and that. I'm out working, sweeping and mopping, you know, whatever, passing stuff. I'm, out, I'm right there by the gate, and he on the phone with his baby mom. So he like, no, nah, man, you got me fucked up. This is what he's saying, the young dude from Harlem, scurvy dude. He like, man, you got me fucked up. I'm in here doing my shit. I'm in here doing my shit. Big homie, big homie. Man, let her know. Let my baby mama know I'm in here doing my shit. Squabbling down everything. Right? Said, what? The dude has been locked up about two weeks. That's probably why he's trying to steal the soap. He ain't got nothing. He's been locked up about two weeks. He's been right here in this module since he's been locked up. I was there before him when I got out of high power for some real violence. And he hasn't had nine squabble since he's been incarcerated. Not a one. He ain't fought nobody. Not there in the module. Not in the L.A. County Jail. I don't know what he did in the, in the uh, you know, at the police station. I guess he squabbled up there or something. But right here, in the, he ain't done nothing. And his baby mama, knowing the kind of man that he is, because he laid there in pillow talk many a times to her. She doesn't respect him, clearly. Because she said, man, you ain't doing nothing. I, I know that this is what she said because he keeps saying, man, you got me fucked up. Yes, I have been squabbling. So obviously she keeps saying, man, you ain't fought nobody. She know her baby daddy. Who you fooling? She know you not about that life, kid. Even she knows it. So he looking at me for validation. He wants me to lie to her. He like, bro, tell her I've been in here doing my stuff, right? So I'm just right there by the gate. I ain't said nothing. I ain't moved. I ain't walked over there towards the phone and tell her a damn thing. Don't put me in this mendacity. I don't want to lie to the lady. You ain't this shit. So I just stood there. At least I ain't finna go put you on blast and say you lying. Just don't involve me in it because you lying. You ain't done nothing. There are dudes in here putting in many of work. 
you, you're, you are not one of them. You've done nothing that I've seen with my own two eyes. Nothing. Or heard nothing. You ain't done nothing. I, I wouldn't know, bro. He ain't done nothing. So I'm just standing there. He like, bro, big homie. Let her know. And so obviously she's saying, look, he ain't finna come, you know, say this. Because he like, no, he coming. He finna, tell, he finna tell you. He finna tell you. He, the, the big homie got the module. He keeps saying this big homie like this supposed to, you know, move me to his corner. Uh, oh, yeah, he calling me big homie. Let me go over here and vouch for him. I don't give a damn about that bullshit, man. I don't even know you. I don't even like you. You don't even call me big homie. Don't call me big bro, bro. I ain't your brother. I don't, I, this dude is suspect. And so I stood right there. And I didn't go take the phone and, and and involve myself in those damn lies. Now, the dude from Harlem, he's hot. He get off the phone, I'm still right there. He basically hung up right to that because he and his baby mother is going back and forth now. She's still talking shit like, look, you can't get nobody to vouch for you. You full of it. You ain't did shit up in there. He like, he said, he's saying, you got me fucking, he's finally hang up the phone. He high. He just look at me and like shake his head and walk down the tear. But he ain't say nothing to me. You know, start acting all feminine. I'm like, man, what's up with this dude? I'm like, man, I don't give a fuck, man, I ain't finna lie. You know what I'm saying, I don't care. He went back inside his cell. Later on, I'm coming down the tear, I'm passing out dinner tray. Again, these are single men's cells. TC is only a few cells down from them, OG TC. But, and I'm a few cells down from TC. We're all just right here on the same tier. You know, whatever, however many cells it is, 15, 20 cells, or 13 cells, or 18 cells, some shit. And as I'm passing out the dinner trays, I hand him his dinner tray. He like, bro, you couldn't say nothing? I'm like, bro. You know, I, I didn't want to get involved in that. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen you squabble anybody. He like, but still, you couldn't tell my baby mama that I was in here squabble? I'm like, nah. I ain't going to do it. You ain't squabble nobody. I ain't finna put my name on you. No. I, I, I didn't put you on blast. I didn't get the phone and tell her that you haven't squabbled nobody. I just said, no. I ain't going to get involved in it, man. You're lying. You ain't done nothing. Period. The fuck? He's like, man, that's crazy. Well, so TC, he like, bro, what, what, what's up? Right, he, he telling his young homie. Because now, I'm, you know, I'm getting a little loud. Because I'm, I'm like, man, this dude questioning me, bro. You know what I'm saying? That, bro, I, I don't have to come over there and lie. For, I wouldn't have done it for nobody. If it was one of my homies saying this shit, I'd say, nah, I ain't, nah, you ain't squabble nobody, bro. I ain't finna go over there and tell her that bullshit. No. I swear, if it was my brother, I'd have did the same thing. It had nothing to do with him in particular. I'm not finna get involved in that mendacity. That's mendacious. You're lying. It's not true. It's a falsehood. A falsity. Falsity. So TC tell him, and so I go down there and I tell TC, man, you, you know, he like, bro, what's up? You know, a little homie getting that, you know, he out of pocket or whatever. TC respects me, bro. You feel me? So I'm like, man, nah, I, I run it down to him. He like, what? I'm like, yeah. He like, he ain't squabbled nobody. And he here stealing soap and shit. This is what TC say. I'm like, hey, I know. He like, bro, no, you wasn't supposed to go over there and tell his baby mama no shit like that. I said, I know, bro. And that's all I did. And that's all it was. And so now he get he he mad, <clears throat> he tripping. TC like, man, I'm gonna get at this dude if I if I I'll smash him if I have to, bro. If, do you feel disrespected by? Him? Cause we get him out of here right now. I'm like, nah, I don't feel disrespected. Nah, you know, he just asked me why I didn't speak up for him, whatever. It's all good, bro. Cause I don't be tripping like that. But then, as fate would have it, a few days later. Because you can run, but you cannot hide. Braves from Black Peace Stone entered the module. Now, 
The Stones have a few braises. This one was light skinned with a bald head. Had just a little size on them. I was in the cell in 26, 28. I think I already told y'all that with one of the braises. That's my boy. Light skinned with the braids, with the tattoos. You know, maybe on the shorter side, sized up a little bit. Him and Baby Rev. Them my dogs. For show, period. For life. You know what I'm saying? This braids that I was in the cell with, he's one of them guys. For sure. 10 trillion percent. This braids right here, I was on the 2,000th floor with him as well, but just for like a few weeks. And I wasn't too sure about him. He seemed like the type of dude that was on medication or something. Seemed a little out there sometimes. A little extra out, a little unruly, you know. But I just felt like it wasn't all that it was cracked up to be. I could be wrong in my estimation. This was just my assessment. I have to assess my surroundings and who I'm around. Self-preservation. And that's the conclusion that I had come to. But again, I could be wrong. Nothing against him. I didn't think he was a coward. Just not the all that he was cracked up to be. But certainly not as bad as Harlem. And again, Braves was light-skinned with a bald head. And even though he had a shaved head, for those who may know who I'm talking about, he had a shaved head. But you know how people shave their heads bald, but you can still tell that they got to, that they receding, that they should come back here. Yes, he was pulling up to the scene with his ceiling missing. This was Braze. His hair was gone. He, he tried to hide it with the bald head. You know, no disrespect to those who are going through that. But Braze, he comes in the module, and I'm thinking to myself, ain't this something? Because I know he extraed out, act like he's on medication or something, just from the time that I was down there with him on the 2000 floor. So I already know he's going to want to squabble this dude from Harlem. I know it. I know it, but I ain't saying that. Whatever. I ain't looking for whatever. I, like I said, I have nothing against Harlem. I just went for the vouch for that bullshit, but I ain't got nothing against him. But don't come at me crazy. Or, just, or it's going to be a problem, bro. But, you know, I didn't feel like he did. You know, he just asked me how come I didn't vouch for him. That's why I told you, man, it's all good. He, he's straight. But I was wondering, well, okay, you were just on the phone telling your baby mama. That's what all this was about. That you was on the phone telling your baby mama. That you was up in here doing your shit. That's verbatim. Those were his words. That he was in here doing his shit. Squabbling up everything and everybody. A total lie. A total lie. It, it, it never happened. Now he has a chance though. And so Braze comes in and Braze, you know, we embrace. He's like, what up, bro? I'm like, what up, bro? You know what? And he asked me who's in the module. I tell him who's in there. The bloods that's in there, whatever else. He like, what else? You know, what crips up in here? I tell him. He asked me, point blank, is there some Harlem's up in here? I told him, yeah. I told him, you know, big TC. He a G though, you know what I'm saying? He ain't the type of dude finna be out here squabbling you on the tear, bro. It ain't finna happen. Fuck around, try to end you or something. You don't want to play with this dude, so I mean, but the other dude, it's another dude down there from Harlem too, a little younger. Braze is about the same age, I would say, 28, 29, 30. So Braze's like, oh, we got a squabble, mandatory. Me and him, me and the other one got a squabble there, mandatory. Off the dribble, that's what he said. Well, we got to get that in, bro. Mandatory, can you get us out? Can you get the dough hit? Um, you know, I, I, he, he like, I know you can get the dough hit. I know you up in here running all these. I'm like, yeah, I get the dough hit, bro. I get y'all out. You know what I'm saying? He like, man, go tell the dude, this, you know what I'm saying? I'm here, we going to squabble up. I'm like, I ain't finna go tell him that shit. You got to tell him. I'm not finna go down here and tell Harlem, hey, bro, Braves here from Black Peace Zone. He said he want to squat, but y'all ain't finna get in the middle of all that bullshit. You go down there and tell him. So Braves go to his cell, and he's like, excuse me on the tear. Excuse me on the tear. As I said, he's a little reckless, a little wild. Medication induced, perhaps. He says, excuse me on the tear. Ready on the tear, which means be quiet on the tear. 
Somebody's about to make an announcement. Somebody's about to say something for the whole tier to hear. Everybody quiets down. He said, check this out. Uh, who in here from Blackstone? I already told me there wasn't nobody in there from Blackstone, but he, you know, nobody said anything. A couple dudes spoke up on him. You know, some blood, 20 blood was in there, I believe. He said his name, where he was from. All right, woo, woo. What's the, what's the blood say? Sue, woo. All right, Sue, woo, bro. He like, uh, any opposition up in here? Basically, anybody from Harlem up in here, bro? Right? I, I, Big TC was like, yeah, I'm Big TC from Harlem Crip. Woo. Okay. Braves from Blackstone. Woo. And the other dude from Harlem, he taking a while to say anything. But he finally did speak up with a little screech in his voice and said, I'm uh, 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 What the hell? What's up? <laughs> Get ready, boy. So Braves like, bro, how old is you? And then he told me, he's like, all right, bro, we going to squabble up. He like, once again, took him a little while to respond. We like, all right, man, all right, you know, all right. So then Braves yelled out at me, hey, big bro, uh, China, uh, can you get us out? Well, I'm like, yeah, man, shower time. Shower time going to be the best time because the cells, the one-man cells are too small to, to squabble in the cell. The regular module, the four-man cells, six-man cells, you can squabble up. Which is now the four-man and two-man cells. You can squabble. It's enough room, especially in the bottom tier where the six bunks are at. The cell is much bigger. You can squabble up. But in the one-man cells, it's not going to happen. You have to squabble up on a tier or in the shower. The shower is right next to the cage where the police is at. So everybody squabbles up on a tier towards the back. We you know, create a little diversion. Go back there and squabble up. This is nonstop. So Bray's like, man, can you get the door? I'm like, yeah, I'll get y'all out. You know what I'm saying? Shower time. Whoa, whoa. All right, bet. Bray's, y'all know it. He had what? Sinister machinations. Shower time came upon us. Quicker than Harlem had hoped for, I'm sure. I got the feeling that he was not looking forward to this. Bray's was bigger than him. Harlem is a skinny dude off of that Jennifer Aniston. On the street. You can tell he all fucked up. Young dude. For sure he was off of it. I know it. Wasn't going to help him up in here. In this county jail. You got to get your weight up. If you up in here banging. You got to be eating right and exercising. Ready to squabble up. Period. He ain't been locked up that long. He, he still regaining his strength. Trying to eat bread. And get some weight on it. Harlem. Here we go, shower time. I tell the police, crack the cells. They crack the cells, created a little diversion towards the front, few people. Braves come out of the cell, wow. Like a raging bull. Come out throwing up his hands all fast. What's up, bro, what's up? Blackstone, Blackstone. Harlem like, all right, man, all right, we finna squabble. He's like, man, 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 Blackstone, shut up. I saw, oh, man, damn. And Braves rushed him. <laughs> got on him. Harlem got off a half a swing. A half a half-hearted swing. That was it. And he got blitzed like the old Baltimore Ravens. Ray Lewis, Sm bam, smashed him, bro. Braves just smashed him. It wasn't even a fight. It was nothing. It was quick. It was over so fast. He just blitzed him. He came out to sell charge already, turned up, pumped up, and rushed out to sell with his hands up already. What's up, bro? Blackstone, Blackstone. Like, he didn't want to do no more talking. It was already, you know, established. It's on at shower time. Those crackers on. And then that talking had already been done. Nothing else to talk about at this juncture. Harlem come out seemingly ill-prepared. Like they're just about to walk back here and just, you know, shake hands before they squabble up. You've been watching too many movies. Braves came out blazing. 
blitzing. What up, bro, Blackstone? And got on him fast. Didn't give him a chance to do nothing. Harlem, like, tried to turn around. And he did a little half-assed Michael Phelps. Yeah. But it wasn't nothing. Braves dropped him. Belly up. Put him on the ground. And at that point, people just basically jumped in and basically pulled Braves off of him, bro. All right, bro, that's enough. This dude ain't trying to, he ain't trying to squabble. So much for all this bullshit you was telling your baby mama and wanted me to get involved in and got mad at me because I wouldn't lie for you. This is why. This is why. I had never seen you squabble. And now when you have a chance to squabble with somebody that just came in the module, got on a tear, and told, man, we finna squabble in front of the whole team. All right, but we gonna squabble up. Blackstone, you know. He come out like a raging bull on you. And you hit the ground quickly, fast, rapidly. You're not to be trusted, man. I knew I was right. I, I was right. I knew I was right by not coming over there lying. To your baby mother. You ain't done nothing. Including now. All bark. But very little to no bite. Zero. A phony, a fraud. A charlatan. And that's what happened there. Braves got on him. Whooped him, put him down on the ground, got Braves up off of him, told him to have mercy on this dude. Braves got up off of him, and that was the end of that. They didn't squabble up again. He, he had no win. He had no chance against Braves. He had, he had, he had zero to no chance because he didn't have enough heart. If he had enough heart, then maybe. But he didn't have enough heart, bro. And they're stealing somebody else's soap and all this. Suspect. Shout out to Big TC, though. A real one. The other dude, I don't even remember his name, but if I did, I, I, no. I'll be back. In the meantime, stay free, people.